Okay, so when starting the Tim Burton's type of style um, for a head, we start with just a circle, okay? So it needs to be quite large. Uh, it should fill kind of most of the upper half here of the paper. Make sure you're leaving some room down at the bottom for the jaw and the shoulders. Now this is just a basic Tim Burton uh, type of head. You can do a lot of different ones, but this is just my take on it, okay? Start with a circle, then you're gonna draw a vertical line down the middle, and it's gonna go all the way to the bottom of the paper because that's gonna keep the whole face symmetrical, so the same on both sides, and the shoulder area, okay? So once you have that done, then we need to create a jaw. Now typically Tim Burton uh, jaws are triangular. You could have them be a little bit more sharp of an angle here. Um, so again, sorry about the bird. You guys all know how that works. My bird's kind of loud and flies around, so just FYI. Uh, I am just drawing two lines coming down and you can have it be kind of angled like so, kind of pointing in like this or you can erase that on both sides and just have it be kind of a upside down teardrop or a balloon, okay, for the head. Then we need to make sure that we um, break up this head into thirds or just break up the circle part into thirds so that we have um, kind of guidelines for the eyes, hairline, hiccup, ooh, excuse me, eyes, hairline, and everything else go, okay? So we start with kind of drawing a line from where the jaw starts, just kind of going across, so horizontal line. Okay, and then another one where you're just gonna break that space in half as well. So you wanna just get it relatively even so it's broken up into three rows, okay? So that should be good. From here, we wanna quick add in a neck. Now Tim Burton necks are very skinny. Okay, like poles, very, very skinny. Okay, and they can be very long. You can decide how long you want it to be. I like to flare it out a little bit at the bottom before I do uh, the shoulders. And then I slope the shoulders out. Remember, using sketch lines, you're picking up that pencil and you're kind of flicking it forward. You aren't holding it down. Do not hold down that pencil. Okay, now I'm pulling out the shoulders past the head. Okay, that's very important. And then they're just gonna go straight down. Okay, try to make sure the shoulders are the same size about, I think one side is a little bit bigger on mine, but it's not a big deal. Just try to get it about the same on both sides. Okay, then the most important feature of any Tim Burton character is the eyes, okay? There's two big circles and they're gonna go on this line here, okay? The lowest horizontal one. So two big circles and you can change the eye shape later this is just how we start it okay there we go so two eyes make sure they are the same size uh, same shape and same distance away from the edge of the head and the same distance away from that vertical line in the center so that they are symmetrical on the head okay and you're gonna notice a lot of my uh, drawings are very, kind of the lines are rough, meaning sketch lines are being used. That's helping us keep it light. It's helping us have a little more control, okay? And it helps our hand not be so shaky when you hold it down, okay? So again, sketch lines, I'll keep reminding you, you must use them, okay? So we have the eyes, uh, and now you can add in a pupil, well, which is the little black dot in the center. Now that needs to be very small because that's a Tim Burton characteristic. So I could just put them directly in the middle, right? Or I could have the pupils kind of looking up or down or whatever, you can have them looking any way you want. You could even have them be goofy and looking opposite directions, whatever, it does not matter, okay? So that's just regular eyes. Now, if you really wanna go Tim Burton style, you could add button eyes, right? Or you could do skull eyes that are empty and maybe you'll wanna, you'd wanna add maybe a little bit of a inside to it so you could see inside the skull or whatnot, um, but Again, this is just regular Tim Burton eyes. If you want to go the Coraline route, you could do button eyes or whatever you want, okay? Now, a Tim Burton nose, okay? There are lots of different ways you could do it. You can have it be, I'm gonna pull up a sheet of paper here. You could have uh, Tim Burton noses be like just 
Here, I'm gonna draw this just really quick so you can see what's going on here. There we go. Oh, that's a really terrible eye. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so a Tim Burton nose could be just like two little dots like this. Literally, that's all if you wanna leave it like that. Uh, you could have it be just a curve like so, really easy. You could have it be one curve on that side and then just a little curve there for the nostril, okay? You could have it be two curves. Now, I am drawing it a little high, actually. We want the nose to be kind of right at the curve of the line here. So it'd be like two curves there and then like a line coming up for the nose. You could get more fancy with it. You could have like two nostrils on the side there, maybe a little curve in the middle, and then two nostril or two lines coming up for the bridge of the nose. Again, you, you can get as complicated or as not complicated as you like with the nose. You can do whatever you want, okay? So for mine, I'm just going to add two curves. Again, it needs to be very close to this curved line right from the circle. The nose should be very low. And then from this side, I'm just gonna add a curved line coming up and it'll stop between the eyes, okay? And that's all I need to do for a nose. Nothing too complicated. And it's the same thing with the mouth. You can have the mouth be as complicated or not as complicated as you want. So like, just sticking a nose there. If you want to do just a smile, that's fine. Tim Burton mouths are very, very simple. You could have it be just like a side smile or maybe add some little stitch marks to make it more uh, Nightmare Before Christmas-like. I don't know, however you wanna do it. You could have it be like this kind of a mouth where you have lips, just something simple like that. You could have it, oof, be, this is kind of what I like to do. I like to do the graphic art style where I just do kind of a line in the middle to start for the middle of the mouth. Then I have a bigger line kind of coming out over the top and then a little line underneath. Um, so that none of them are connected, but it's just kind of a, a gesture mouth, which I just like that style, okay? Whatever mouth you want, you can literally do anything. It does not matter. You can have the mouth be open, have, give it teeth, fangs, I don't care. Whatever kind of mouth you want. For this one, I'm going to give it a smile, a big smile, but then I'm going to add just some little lips on top and on the bottom. Then I'm gonna add stitch lines on the sides just because that's very Tim Burton style, okay? So there's my very simple mouth. It does not have to be fancy. Okay, then we wanna give our character here an expression, okay? Now, if you want your character to be angry, we need to do eyebrows, right? So eyebrows should angle down. If you want your character to be scared, have your eyebrows be off to the side, okay? If you want your hair or your character to be um, surprised, eyebrows should be higher up, right? Away from the eyes. If you want your character to be very serious, lower eyebrows, okay? If you want your character to just be, you know, normal, just eyebrows kind of right above the eye like so, okay? Eyebrows give it emotion, give it a personality, okay? For this person, I'm just going to have the eyebrows be regular, right across the top, nice curved. You can make the eyebrows into any kind of shape. You can even give them like little stitch marks, right? I could give these guys little stitch marks if I want, maybe on both sides. Okay, you can thicken up the eyebrows. You can do literally anything you want. Uh, and then you can give them an eyelid if you'd like. If you wanna give it an eyelid, you just have a curve coming across. You do not have to give them an eyelid if you don't want. Okay, an eyelid coming across. And if you wanna do um, eyelashes, they need to come from the eyelid. If you don't have an eyelid, then they just come from the side of the eye. But if you do have eyelids, you have to put the eyelashes coming from the eyelid, okay? And Tim Burton characters typically only have about three or four eyelashes, so don't add too many. You can if you you can add some little ones on the bottom if you want to, but again, not too many. It's supposed to just be kind of a cartoon, nothing too fancy. 
Okay, you can even add eyelids on the bottom of the eye. We, again, you can get as fancy as you want with this, but Tim Burton characters can be very simple. All right, then we wanna add ears off the side. Two just curved lines off the side to the ear. Okay, make sure they're the same level. They just come off the sides of the eyes and they're about the same height as the eyes or smaller, no bigger. You don't want big ears, all right? And that's it for this demo, okay? I will go into adding hair in one of the next ones uh, and I will talk about clothing and all that later on. And also with um, shading, I'll also talk about that on a later video, but we don't have to do shading just yet. This is just the first step on how to get the face down, okay? So hopefully that helps. Email me with any questions.